Well, the Kansas City Charity is helping physically challenged people get the equipment they need to function in everyday life. We have Rick Davidson, who is founder of Positive Changes, with us, and he's here to talk about this uh, organization, Positive Changes, and you guys have a big event that's coming up. But let's start with you, first of all. You are a quadriplegic, yes. and that's really what launched you into this. Tell me a little of your story. Well, I was hurt in a slow-speed motorcycle accident in 1987 and I was given 5% chance to live past mm -hmm. a year and then probably around zero to live after that on a ventilator and be productive. Mm -hmm. And now I'm approaching, approaching I think 26 or 7 years now. So. Oh, man. And the sound that you're hearing there, that whooshing sound, that is just simply something that helps I you be able to speak. Yeah, it's my ventilator. And these are some of the items that you provide to other people who are physically challenged. Tell us what All Positive Changes really does for people in the community similar to yourself and that have other different challenges. Um, we provide durable medical equipment at little or no cost mm -hmm. to them, like beds, walkers, chairs, that sort of thing. And occasionally we can help provide a van or at least help find the fundings for vans and help get people the attendance or just the information they're looking for to make new injuries or people that move to our area more knowledge about what's what's available in our area. Yeah, Rick, I'm so inspired by you because you could have just, you know, lived by yourself and, and just done your own thing, but you are actually involved in helping other people, you know, try to have a, a life and be able to get around and to function and to be involved and engaged. I actually met you at an Olathe Chamber meeting. You're still very much involved in the Chamber with positive changes yes. there. And uh, you've got a big event coming up. So talk about this golf tournament happening in September. Yes. September 25th at Prairie Highlands Golf Tournament. Golf course, we're having a totally volunteer based a uh, mm -hmm. golf tournament for positive changes, which it's 85 per player. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just going to have a lot of fun, raise some money for people with disabilities. That way, the money that we raise, I can turn around and purchase more items for them. God, oh, that's really great. And you're working with actual medical providers who also help mm -hmm. and, and engage with you guys to try to provide people with what they need. And I think we've already shown the picture of the van, that this is a, a fully equipped van that we're going to show you. And you guys are, what, giving away this van? Uh, we did, yes. That was when we gave away. What are we doing this year? Are we doing it again? Um, we're going to try. We're going to. We got to raise the money. We need twenty-one thousand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you want to know more about positive changes, we're going to put some information on our website. Have a link there. You can make a donation. And if you want to get involved in that September twenty-fifth golf tournament for positive changes, you'll know exactly when and where and how to do that. Thanks so much for being here, Rick. Thank you.